Hey everyone, myself Shaptaporni from Biolive. Hope all of you are doing very well. So today I am going to teach you about the part 2 of biostatistics video on linear regression equation using scientific calculator FX991MS or FX82MS. So before watching this video, I would like to request you to kindly uh, watch the previous video, the part 1 of this video where I have told how to set the regression function in your scientific calculator, how to register your data table, the x variables and y variables in your uh, calculator and from there how to calculate these values like summation of x square, summation of x, summation of y square, summation of y, summation of xy using the function shift plus is sum or 1 and then the value of summation of x and summation of y using the function shift plus is var 2. Okay. And I have also told how to find out the values of A, B and R. Uh, what are these? A and B are the A is this intercept and B is the slope of linear regression straight line. Okay. So, if this is the uh, straight line, the linear regression line. Okay. So, uh, whose formula is Y equal to A plus BX there? A equal to your intercept where this line cuts the y axis and B is the slope of this line. Okay. So, I have also told how to find out A and B values and R is the Pearson's product moment coefficient of correlation. Okay. How to find out all these three values using the uh, function shift plus is var or 2. Okay. But uh, in your examination, uh, they will not expect you to directly write down these three values from your calculator. Okay. They expect you to find out these values. Okay. And from and using these values, you have to find out the value of A, B and R manually using some formulas which I will discuss in today's video. Okay. And then you can uh, get assured if your solution is right or not by matching with these three values. Okay. But you have to find out the value of A, B and R manually. Okay. Using these values. Okay. So, that is why I am telling that before watching this video, don't forget to watch the part 1 of this video whose link is given in the description box below or on the i button give above. Okay. So, when whenever you have find out these values, these uh, 7 values, then you need to uh, put these values in some formulas to find out these values. Okay. So, what are those formulas? Let's see. Okay. So, see here, these are those three formulas, SS of XX, which means sum of square of X, SS of YY, which means sum of square of Y, and SP of XY, which means sum of product of XY. See, these are the formulas and you can easily see that the value of summation of X square is already given above the value of y square summation of uh, x y all are given above okay you just need to put those values in these formulas and you have to find out the value of ssxx ssyy and spyy so let's do that okay so let's say see uh, what are the values summation of x square equal to your 46.99 and summation of x equal to 40 16.5 and in our uh, problem the n was 6 ok so let's do it here so it's 40 I hope you can see it clearly and if you don't see it also then there is no problem so the values will be your 46.99 minus 16.5 square of 16.5 divided by 6 sorry equal to 1.615 so write it down here 1.615 then some S, SS of YY so the value of Y square is 63 63506 minus value of summation of Y equal to 608 so we need to uh, square it divided by 6 
or n so the value becomes 1895.33 so write it down here 1895.33 now to find out sp of xy the value of summation of xy equal to 1725.8 uh, minus value of summation of x equal to your 16.5 multiplied by 608 divided by 6. So the value becomes 53.8. Okay. So write it down here 53.8. So now you have got all these three values. Okay. So using these three values now you need to find out the value of b. Okay, the value of B equal to SP of XY divided by SS of XX. So, what will be your value? SP of XY equal to 53.8 divided by 1.615. So, do that here. 53.8 divided by 1.615 which becomes 33.31. Okay, 33.31. So, let's see if this value matches with the calculated value previously calculated value by the calculator so see here yes b equal to 33.3 and you have you have also found it here b equal to 33.3 so uh, from this you can get assured that you are doing the uh, problem doing the solution correctly okay dealing with the solution correctly now you have to find out the value of a so as we all know y bar equal to a plus b into x bar so a will be y bar minus b into x bar so, and we we have already found out the value of x bar and y bar here okay previously so just put this value here so see here the value of y bar is the value of y bar is what uh, 101.33 we have also found out the value of b which is 33.31 into value of x bar equal to 2.75 so let's see what becomes the value of a okay so the value of a will become 101.33 minus 33.31 multiplied by 2.75 seven five two point seven five okay so let's see what is your value the value is nine point seven two seven five so you can write it down like nine point seven two three okay, seven uh, zero point uh, okay have i done anything wrong here no it's correct 9.723 so let's see if this value matches with the already calculated value in your calculator okay so a is 9.723 and let's see here yes the a value is 9.723 so obviously a and b value matches so you are doing it correctly now you have to find out the uh, linear regression equation so as we all know the linear regression equation is y equal to a plus bx so now you have already known the value of a which is 9.723 and value of b which is 33.31 33.31 and obviously x so your linear regression equation will be this one y equal to 9.723 plus 33.31 into x so this is your answer okay and if you now want to find out the value of r r is the pearson's product moment coefficient okay so that is equal to summation of product of xy divided by root over of summation of square of x into sum of square of y so put the values here as we all know the value of SPXY equal to 53.8 into root over SSXX equal to 1.615 multiplied by 1895.33. So let's see what becomes the value. So let's find out that what becomes your value. Let's say mm, 53.8 divided by root over. 1.615 multiplied by 1895.33 so the value comes 0 0.972 0 0.972 so let's see if this value matches 
with the already calculated value okay so let's see yes see here the r value was 0.972 and also your calculated r value becomes 0.972 so obviously you are doing the uh, calculation correctly you can get assurance from the already uh, given value already calculated value from your calculator okay so that is how you have to find out the value of b value of a and value of r using these three formulas okay and that is how you can find out the linear regression equation through using these formulas okay so that is what they will ask you to do in the examination without using uh, the calculator directly and finding out the value of a b and r they will give you the calculator and they will let you to uh, um, get the values of summation of x square summation of a x summation of x y summation of a, y square summation of y and x bar and y bar but they will not let you to calculate the value of a b and r directly from the calculator calculator you have to find out those values through these formulas okay and you have to show this in your paper so that is all about today's video i hope it will be useful for basically msc students okay so if you find this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with your friends so thanks for watching and happy learning